Ronda Rousey is here. Clear the way, folks. Here comes the baddest. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. The baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. The woman who won the Women's Royal Rumble the night she returned to WWE and has once again been dominant. Facing perhaps the greatest competitor in women's division history, beating Charlotte will make you a legend. That's a true statement, but it's only true because of how difficult, borderline impossible it is to achieve this task. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. A woman who helped usher in a genuine women's evolution in WWE alongside her fellow four horsewomen. The most highly decorated female superstar in the history of WWE and a guaranteed future first ballot Hall of Famer. Born into this business, the daughter of a two-time Hall of Famer, Charlotte was always destined for greatness, and she has definitely achieved it. She's going to leave this match against Rousey with either a broken arm or a huge win. Well, I think she'd take the win even if she breaks her arm in the process. that the only reason why people talk about Ronda Rousey is because Rousey targeted the best competitor in the world, meaning herself, of course. A total disregard for all of Ronda's accomplishments. How much more vain can Charlotte get? Like, really, Rousey is as big a star, if not bigger, than Charlotte Flair. Blasphemy, Saxton. How dare you even think that there is a bigger star than our queen? The headlines begin and end with Charlotte Flair, and she's being... Lock it in, the Dragon Sleeper! Corey, I think Ronda's gonna... Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Rich in the arm, boom, close line. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. Fall away slam! <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Bang! Backbreaker! Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Charlotte and Ronda have had quite a back and forth rivalry over the years. How can Ronda tip the scales in her favor, Corey? We know that Charlotte isn't afraid to bend the rules. Rousey has to get to that same place. If she can fight fire with fire, then she should be on equal footing. Planted with a neck breaker. And now thrown back into the ring. Uh-oh, 
for applying. This could be it. What's going to happen here? I think she's got an opportunity. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Can she do it here? And she's not done yet. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. That's telling your opponent, you don't deserve to share this stage with me. Effective arm drag. Oh, look at mounting it now. The... Oh, punches hammering away. Ruthless. My God, what a striking display. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Oh, man. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Charlotte might be waking up. The U-turn Charlotte needed in this match could have been that right there. Cover! Shoulders are down! Just after two! No celebrations yet! Ow! Ooh, what a forearm club! And the Queen might be hurting after that hit. Yeah, Rousey definitely signaling that playtime is over with that one. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? to the spine. Oh, dead lift. Ooh. Hitting me. Squaring off right by our announce table. Made her pay for her mistake. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Throws her back in from ringside. Charlotte Flair has earned everything she has. She's simply better than any other woman in this industry. Credit to Ronda Rousey. She tried her hardest, but in the end, Charlotte Flair proved to be too much.